up out here. I just had to clean up the tires. I got more center caps coming. Cause like I told y'all, these plastic ones be popping off. So I cleaned them up. Tires practically new. I bought them. I ain't really drove them much. Still got all the meat on them. Need some burnouts in them. But other than that, they good. Good to go, man. So yeah, I'm gonna get the. Uh, let's go throw these on the money for now. I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. I'm debating if I want to order some center cap. I mean, some uh, rims for the money. I don't know. Just got the phone. My boy Khan's going to be done in the next day. That's coming. Um. Uh, cleaning off the rally wheels. These rally wheels going on the Monte Carlo. So I'm just cleaning them all. So when the Monte come back, I can throw them on there. You know what I mean? So we working, man. We ain't doing too much. I'm just staying in tune with y'all. Front up maybe an inch or two. I'm getting a little scrub in the front. So we're gonna bring that boy up about an inch or two. Back gonna be where it's at because I'm gonna when I put my music in the back, it's dropping down. The car's super dirty right now, but y'all feel me though. Those going on the money until I put some wheels on there. I don't know what y'all the other guys put some wheels on the money. I really, I don't want to. I just want to kind of like a muscle car. I already got one car with big wheels on it. I want one car that I can just jump in on a Sunday, ride, ain't got to worry about potholes, nothing. I can drive that thing out of town. That's going to be the Monte Carlo. AC, heat, everything. I can just jump in that thing and go. This is more so of my show car when I want to go act a fool, do what I do. You understand me? Do what I do, do it how I do it. A couple pair of kicks for the for my daughter. These for the baby mama. Her irritating ass. You know how we coming though, man. Console will be here this week, man. Console will be in this week. Got some things up my sleeve. So y'all know my new console will be here in the next day or two. I might show y'all a sneak peek in this video. And I appreciate everybody who showed me love on the wheels too on the box Chevy, man. I, Appreciate all the love, man. Y'all know I do. All the love and support. Not just love, but support. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all love equals support when y'all watching my videos. But for everybody that was asking, yeah, these wheels are not black. They blue. I know a lot of people was asking that, man. The black, they look black, but it looked dark. It's so dark that you can't really tell. But the wheels are blue. Car is filthy, as y'all can see. I got to get a nice buff and wax. He said I can't buff and wax it for like at least 21 days or whatever he was saying. I think he said 21 days, if I'm mistaken. So I'm going to wait till uh, those 21 days. I've been over, over a week. I'm going to wait and then I'm going uh, to get a nice buff and wax on here though. I'm going to get a nice buff and wax job on here so I can shine it up, get all the little swirls off from the microfiber tiles and stuff. But right now what I'm about to do is I just actually finished cleaning the wheels as y'all see. Clean the wheels of those going on the Monte Carlo for now. I want to put some wheels on there. I'm so tempted to put wheels on there, but I really just don't want to. You know what I'm saying? So I think I'm going to leave that where it's at. But I do know one thing I need to do. Uh, I need to take these hood hinges off and I'm going to use my touch-up paint. And I'm going to get paint all back there. See where the color is different? At? I call myself paint back there. And the color was all the way off. So I don't like that. I like to have paint all the way back there like I did on the Monte Carlo. So it's just the small stuff. Car ain't gonna be perfect, but I just like to get it together. But as y'all can see, it's super dusty. It's been raining a lot out here, and then I sprayed it under the hood. So I'm gonna put a little degreaser under here in a couple days. I'm gonna clean it up. And then I gotta go get that brake caliper put on too. I mean, not brake caliper, but the master cylinder put on. But anyway, this one I'm about to throw on right quick. I got this green micro V belt. Uh, this belt actually is brand new. This on here, 
But for some reason, I like the green looking belt. That green belt just got this slick look to it. Don't ask me why I want it. I know a lot of people use them for high performance. They use them for the race cars and the turbos and shit, but I don't know I don't know if this helped at all with performance. I'm pretty sure it don't, it's just a belt. But I just like the belt, you know what I'm saying? The green belt, so I ordered me one. And uh, like I said, it'd be just a nice little touch to the car, you know what I'm saying? It's just small details in that green belt. It don't match nothing, but I guess it didn't match that. The little gasket, huh? that's about it. But uh, I'm gonna get this done. Everybody was telling me too about the wheels to get the center caps painted. That was the plan, but he, he didn't want to paint them at the time, but I think I'm going to get them painted. But when I do get them painted, they're going to be red. I'm going to get the red on the center cap. I know y'all like, why red? But I got a lot of red accents in the car, so it's going to tie into all the little red stuff I got in the car. So the center caps, I'm going to get the words in red. The MTW is going to be red, and those two lines over and under the MTW are going to be red, too. And then most of y'all know I'm already, I'm switching to uh, wheel woods in the back too. So the back will be, I got drums back there now, but I'm switching to disc brakes. It's gonna be four. I might put six piston in the back too. I don't know. I know I did six piston in the front. I was gonna do four piston in the back, but I might do six piston in the back too. But uh, I really wasn't gonna do another video until I got my console in the next couple days, but I decided to just, you know, record some more, man. Just to give y'all some more content, man. Y'all been asking for it, so I'm gonna give it to y'all. Y'all say I don't post enough, so. I'm trying to get this little post out here. So I'm gonna set my camera up though. And I'm about to, uh, I'm about to put this serpentine belt on. So y'all give me a minute. Let me find a 15 millimeter socket to mess with that tensioner. And then I'm about to slap this belt on there. We're gonna see how it, how it look. Give me one minute. So y'all see I have a little struggle. This belt is saying feel a little thicker than a normal belt. It feel durable though, but I got it on there. Had to do a little struggling, but I got him on there. Hopefully it ain't too tight or it ain't squeaking, but I got it on there. So we gonna crank the car up and see what we get. confused on the last video what was exactly going on um y'all know i just had picked the box chevy up from getting the touch up in because i realized i didn't specify what was going on sometimes people be left wondering i know i'm the same way if somebody you know that's why i do so much talking and try to describe what's going on in detail just in case people don't understand what's going on because i know you might catch the video from the beginning or the middle or something and it just i just start off talking well not the last video the video before last but i was picking a box chevy up look at the wheels color match the paint. I liked it. I think it was a nice addition. Uh, I guess this motor in trend is a little bit heavier than my small block because this is the third motor I had in here. I bought this car. I had a six, I had a, a five, uh, it was like a five, five liter, 5.0 motor, which was a 305. That's a five liter. And then uh, that was the stock motor that was in here. Then I changed it out 
for a small block 400, which was new. I got it basically rebuilt from the top to the bottom. Put that in here, that was running pretty hard. And then last minute, in typical box Chevy P fashion, I decided to change the motor again. I said, fuck it, I wanna go LS. So that's what I did. I went LS, put this motor in, didn't take much time at all. This is my third LS swap I did. And I do LS swaps, but I really don't do them for outside customers. I just do them for my own vehicles. But yes, I did this LS swap right here in my garage. So got it running and everything over here, right here in my garage. The only thing my buddy did for me was he deleted the vats on my computer and he programmed my computer to run a 4080. Other than that, everything else I did, got it running, wired it up, everything. So that was what, you know, task at hand. So the next one, Monte Carlo's gonna be real clean. It's gonna be a different look. So y'all just stay tuned, man. We got a lot coming for this channel. You know, every we in Wisconsin, so it's only so much footage I can get in the winter because it's, it's limited what I can do in the winter time. But y'all know when summer comes. This channel. So y'all pretty much all know that to get cracking on this channel. As soon as it get hot outside, it gets popping. Uh, I think I might be selling this dash. I'm not sure yet, but I'm almost positive. I think I want to go ahead and get rid of it. So if anybody wants this dash, I'll take 700 bucks for it. It's a Dakota Digital. I put it in here last year. It's the VHX, as y'all can see. Still brand new, no scratches or nothing on it. So they like 900 brand new right now. So I take uh, I take 700 for that. Everything come with it, all the sensors, everything. Y'all can get it. 700 for that uh, Dakota Digital if anybody want it. Actually, it's pretty much sold, but if somebody want it, I'll let them get it. But I got a guy who actually been sweating me for it. So that's gonna be a no-brainer too, though. But that's all the pretty much the stuff I'm doing to this car. And then as far as this box, this box is going into Monte Carlo. And then I'm getting a custom box built for this car. So this box won't be going in here. And if it do go in here, it'll be temporary. But uh and then all the speakers up there is just my six and a half that's all going in the rear deck or they going under this rear deck. And then these are just all my amps for my highs and mids. So it's a lot going on. Like I said, I got a lot of parts up here. Gas tank, a bunch of other crap. I'm just trying to get it together, man. These car parts is very, very expensive. Like when I say expensive, I'm not even done yet. This shit is expensive. And last year I was buying all this stuff. I really wasn't even thinking about it. But as I'm buying it this year, for some reason, I noticed the price that went up on a lot of stuff. So this stuff is super expensive man like the smallest parts is just cost a lot of money so that's pretty much it for the day though i just was messing with it just getting that belt on there and just bringing y'all back trying to keep y'all updated like y'all asked me to do man y'all say i don't post enough y'all say man p you need to post more we need motivation and i'm like you know what you're absolutely right because i get paid to post videos and i'm and i'm playing with it you know how many people would love to be monetized and they not monetized, so I'm like, you know what? Let me stop playing with this gift, man. I was blessed enough to get monetized. Let me start doing what I need to do on this channel. So I'm gonna do what I need to do. This is the part number on that belt if anybody was looking for one. If you got the same setup I got, that's the part number. That was like 60 bucks, but I'm out of here. If you're here watching this video, man, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna check out, peace.